Hey, good afternoon. It's Roy from Sulfur City Foundry again. I'm uh, just bringing you the latest in a series of tech videos to assist DIY Saber builders and pretty much anyone else who wants to know a little bit more about their Sabers. So today we're going to be concentrating on recharge ports. Now, for a, such a small component in a lightsaber, this is the uh, uh, the little component that gives most um, head scratching and probably most questions about uh, how to wire up properly when people are doing their first, second or third saber builds. They want to make sure they get this right. So this is what we're talking about at the moment. These little uh, <coughs> recharge ports, they tend to come in two flavors. You'll find this version uh, commonly on saber forge installations. And you've also got this switchcraft version. Um, these tend to come from, uh, um, you'll find these in other Sabre builds, and they're stocked by such people such as, um, well, us at Sulphur City Foundry, or Custom Sabre Shop, and the like. So let's have a look at the concept of what a recharge port does. Now, this is not a definitive wiring diagram. This is just to get the concept of what a recharge port does um, through to new Sabre builders. <clears throat> so let's have a look at a very simplified circuit. Um, this is your soundboard. This is your 18650. Not very complicated. Um, now, if you're powering a soundboard, pretty much uh, in a circuit, you're going to have a voltage source or a power source with a positive and negative terminal. That positive is going to be wired up to the positive pad on your board, and the negative. Term, uh, pad from the battery will be wired to the negative pad on your board and that forms a circuit allowing current to flow and your saber to work okay so that's cool um i mean this is basically a um you know as simple as you can get let's mix it up a little bit more to uh, see what happens when we introduce a recharge port So we're going to go with the switchcraft model. I'll cover the terminals very shortly. So essentially what we're doing um, by introducing a recharge port, we're just going to look at the negative terminals first, is dropping this extra little component into the circuit. And I find it's best to explain what a recharge port does. Um, first off, by considering it in its secondary capacity as a kill switch. Now your Sabre, if it's come from a uh, um, commercial manufacturer, has probably come with something like this. It's a kill key. And you'll find that when you insert your kill key into your recharge port, it effectively kills power to your Sabre. So how does it do this? Well, there's a little mechanical um, contact in here within the recharge port itself, that when you physically insert the kill key, which is just a non-conducting piece of plastic tube, it effectively triggers a switch. It pushes that pad contact away from the contact on this pin, a bit like a switch, and what it does, it effectively breaks a circuit. You have no full circuit, no power can flow, your saber is killed with the kill key. If you remove the kill key, switch is the flexible pad comes back, makes contact, and you have a full circuit and your saber powers up. That's all that's going on between these two negative pads, which are often the source of confusion when putting a recharge board in. That's all that's actually happening. Simply consider, in this capacity, the recharge port as a switch. Kill key goes in, switch is open, your saber is killed. Pull the kill key out, switch is closed. You have a full circuit, your saber powers up, and you can actually use it. Okay, so that is what's happening as a kill key. So in terms of 
Um, so there's only one of these pads that connects and disconnects, and that's the one with that flexible contact on it. So when you know, so it's only this terminal that ever connects and disconnects. This one remains hardwired in to the battery, but because there's no full circuit, power doesn't flow. That's it. Except that it's just a simple switch. Now. What happens if we use a charger instead? So if we have a charger, same shape as the kill key, if we insert that, exactly the same thing happens. That lever just opens, breaks the contact with your board, your board powers down, and your saber doesn't work. But in the capacity of running a charger, what your charger is actually doing, it is the negative on the charger is still connected through this pin to the negative on the battery. So all you need to do to get your battery to charge is also wire up the positive pin on your recharge port. There's a positive on the battery. So what you have here with a smart charger installed is a different circuit. You have the positive from the smart charger going through the positive wire to your 18650. Negative off the battery comes back through. This negative pin on the recharge port through your charger and you have a circuit so you have a charging circuit now remember when something is installed this switch is open so your board is isolated from the charging circuit so that's all a recharge port does in the first capacity with a simple plastic bit of tube non-conducting, a kill key, you put it into your recharge port, this switch opens, <coughs> your board is isolated, your saber won't work. Okay. There is no full circuit here because you just have a non-conducting piece of plastic, so there's no battery drain. Your saber is killed. <coughs> Instead of the kill key, you actually use a smart charger, which is an electrical device. You plug that into your recharge port. Same thing happens. Your board is isolated, turns your saber off. But because this electrical device is actually part of a full circuit now, current flows and it charges up your 18650 battery. And that smart that circuit will automatically disable once your smart charger detects that your battery is full. That's all there is to a recharge port. If you're having issues getting your head around it, first just simply consider it as a switch that breaks this negative line going to your battery. Once you've got your head around that concept, think about the rest of the circuit when you hook up this third pin to the positive. Okay, how that suddenly becomes a charging circuit when a smart charger is inserted. It is not a charging circuit when a piece of plastic tubing like a kill key is inserted. That's all there is to it. Got any questions? Pop them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our videos down here for more tech um, and future tech videos. Um, if you think this explanation was good, let us know. If you think it could be improved, also let us know. And uh, let us know how you got your head around um, how your recharge port works the first time that you came to install them. So that's Roy from... Oh, nearly forgot about the two different types of recharge ports. <coughs> okay, this is your Sabre Forge style kill key. Okay. 
So your positive, do it in relation to the diagram. There we go, let's go here. Positive pin on one of these styles is this big one here, the big L shaped pin. The pin that goes to the negative battery will be the negative pin on the outside of the recharge port. This negative pin that goes to your board will be the middle pin here, which is the middle negative. And when you're soldering these up, make sure that your soldering iron doesn't accidentally short across these terminals. You could be in a world of hurt with that. Okay, now we're on to the Switchcraft style. Completely different pin out, and this catches out um, a lot of people, including myself. I've been caught out with this before. Okay, so pins on the Switchcraft style. You'll see a top pin. They're kind of layered. So this top pin here, the one that looks like it's affixed to the middle of the recharge port, that's your positive. Now going round the recharge port, this middle pin is the one that goes to your battery. Now the third pin that is opposite the positive, this is the pin that you wire to your board. Okay, so slightly different pinouts on these two different versions of recharge ports, but if you follow those simple instructions, you'll be recreating the circuit that you see before you, and your Sabre will charge just fine. Okay, that's me, Roy from Silver City Foundry. All of our, all of those products are actually in stock on our store. We're tucked away down here in Little Node, New Zealand, so if shipping's a bit of a killer, make sure you just source something locally. And uh, have fun building your sabers. That's why we're all here. You have a great day. Make sure you subscribe. Go on, do it now. Just click on it. That's it. Awesome. And have fun.